Hi, and welcome to episode two of Magically Dyed Yarns. I'm Sam. I'm Steph. <laughs> and this is the channel where we talk about our knitting, crochet, and hand yarn dyeing experience. And every other random thing I decide to throw in. Loud noises! Yes. And there will also <laughs> probably be some Disney related news every so often because that's the whole theme of our shop is it's Disney themed yarns. Um, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel and also look for us on Instagram, Ravelry, Facebook, and also please help support our channel by going to our Etsy shop and picking up your own magically dyed yarn. And all of those links will be posted below. Special thanks to Chris from My Disney Addiction Podcast who's been editing our videos. He's been adding all the fun, super fun clips in. Yes, I think it's really funny. It makes them really enjoyable, even for those of you who don't knit or crochet. Yes, and as you saw our special guest from our shop update, if you haven't checked our shop update yet, um, you're in for a treat with um, our two other little magical princesses. Yes. <laughs> all right, her princesses. Yeah, my, my prince and my princess were not in the video. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. All right, so let's get on with our updates for today. Yes, so we're gonna start off with finished objects. I actually have three, I'm very excited. <laughs> but you have progress, <laughs> so it's okay. First one I'm gonna start with is my socks. So these are my Hermione's Everyday Socks. I'm Hermione Granger. They are made with just some stock yarn I had from Hobby Lobby. And it is the, oh, the pattern is by Dreams in Fiber. I really like this pattern. It's very easy for if you're beginning a, like if you want something extra from a vanilla sock. Um, I made them on US1 2.25 milliliter needles, nine inch circulars. I don't know if my gauge was different, but I definitely have one sock that is longer than the other. <laughs> You done messed up, A.A. Hey, Ron! Some people's feet are different sizes. It's great. Yeah, I don't know if my gauge was off. I did make two, no, I made three other pair of socks in between the two of them. So I think my gauge just might have changed. All right, and I'm always really confused. Why do you put socks on here? Oh, so these are sock blockers. So this is if you block your socks, I usually don't. What does that mean? <laughs> it helps them hold their shape. It also brings out your stitches. My next finished object, which I will show you because I don't think my sister-in-law watches our channel, which <laughs> is totally fine. But she is having a little boy at the same Aww. time I'm doing it. I'm having a little girl. We just found out. Oh, yeah. Very excited. But I made her a blanket. So that's very I cool. really love this pattern. It is the Pretty Ripple Baby Blanket by Lauren Brown. It's very easy. It works up very, very quick. I love the colors that I kind of wanted. She said she was going to do green, and then she decided not to. <laughs> But that's okay because I love the way that all these, so I used a green, a cream, and a gray. And again, these are, this was the Yarn Bee Baby from Hobby Lobby. And then I used an eye hook. However, in the pattern, it calls for two skeins of each color. However, I only ended up using one skein, so I don't know if maybe it's supposed to be two yarns held together and it just wasn't in the pattern, or if I just crochet really loose. But I love the way it turned out. I hope she's really excited to get it. I'm really excited to give it to her. I love making baby blankets for my nieces and nephews. Then my last finished object. I finished my Oakley slouch. So I used our yarn from Magically Dyed Yarns. This is the Dreams Come True color sock set. So it's got Dreams Come True colorway and then our Dreamer um, contrast scheme. And this is the Oakley Slouch by Rebecca Langford. And I love the way it turned out. I love the way this striped up. It's so pretty. And I love the way that the purple just goes perfectly yeah, with these colors. It really does. Yeah, and I'm happy because I dyed this one and it didn't quite turn <laughs> out perfect, which is why we ended up, she ended up. Yeah. But I love the way it turned out. And but I love I that we can show you. I love that I can show you guys what our yarns knit up like. Yeah, that's really cool to see. Yeah. All right, so those are all of my finished objects. We will be posting pictures of those on our Instagram, so again, make sure you go follow us. So I made a little bit of progress, but um, this is a huge, giant knot right here, and it's, the string is super thin, and it's probably gonna break, and I should just cut it, but um, I'm gonna try to get it out first. And once I get it out, it should go pretty smoothly after that. I posted the picture on Instagram a while back now, 
about where we were and I saw that it was super uneven and it made me really mad but you know what I'm just gonna keep going and I'm gonna hopefully finish this by the time we shoot our next video and post an update on our Instagram because um, Instagram's super easy to do yeah. all right so I am done with my leg and gusset decreases on my battle for Hogwarts sock I've always wanted to use that spell yeah so I love this I love the way it's turning out and I love the yarn I wanted it so when I saw it I wanted it to look like um like the flashes from the wands like against the castle okay yeah I could see that so that was what I was going for and then again this pattern is Battle for Hogwarts by the crazy sock lady designs and then my last work in progress um, I started my screpa my cowl. That's so cool looking. And I love the way that this is working out. I did take this out about 50 times to try to learn how to do a brioche knit. Which is not bread. It's not bread. <laughs> no, it's not brioche bread, even though. Okay, brioche burger buns. So good. That's my favorite. I'll switch those out <laughs> at any restaurant that have, has those. Or pretzel buns. Pretzel buns are good too. Sorry, we're Sometimes gonna talk they're about just food. a little too dense for That's me, the true. pretzel you buns. You have to find the nice ones where, it, yeah, put the salt on top. Yeah. Hamburger. Um, we have a Ravelry page where we can where we have all of our projects and all of the patterns to what we're working on. Yeah, because I often don't remember what I'm doing. I just go on Pinterest and look for patterns when I decide I'm doing something else, which eventually I'll have to make a baby blanket. I'm gonna try to do a mermaid one because I think that'll be fun, but um, we'll see what happens. I had a promise not to make my own baby blanket, so that way she could make me one. <laughs> so I actually have a deadline now, which thankfully is a few months away. Yeah, you well, got, I think it's like four months. Four months away. <laughs> we'll see. Summer's so getting busy. Okay. Yeah, I'll okay. do it on the airplane. She's going to Florida <gasps> in September. She's going to Disney World. So we'll take lots of pictures. Jealous. Um, we're staying, I don't know, at one of the... Old Key West, right? Yeah, Old Key West. Chris was just looking at pictures of it today. It is so cute. So Old Key West is Disney's first vacation club. And it is absolutely adorable. They upped it, like upgraded everything. And so I would never have guessed that it's their first because it looks so nice and the pool looks amazing. And because we have the two littles, like we're only gonna go to the parks a couple days, but wanna check out like downtown Disney and hang out at the pool and make it more like a chill vacation versus like what we typically do, which I won't get into today. <laughs> okay, usually our old family vacations, we would rope drop first thing in the morning and then we'd be there until the park closed. 2 a.m. guys, 2 a.m. That was when the parks closed at 2 a.m. So those were long days. I I am tired just thinking about it. My feet hurt just thinking about it. Like I remember yeah. standing in line for Space Mountain after I got in, the day I got engaged. That was so long, but I was sort of so tired. <laughs> those were fun though. And then but when too. we would go when we were little, my mom was like, "This is a once in a lifetime trip." And then they slowly turned into a once a year trip. So, and so uh, to the point, I think went to the point where they figured, you know what, we might as well just say it. We're gonna go probably every year. Like we started to be more relaxed, take our time. That's when we really noticed the details. And I think that's really when I fell in love with Disney was when we just, we took a step back instead of doing it really, really hectic. And you could just appreciate everything that was around you and all the details, all the hard work that went into it. Yeah, it was really cool. No matter what Disney's been doing lately, like there is still like a lot of really good, fun history and things that we've enjoyed there in the past. Yeah. So, Although they did just announce a couple weeks ago that they're partnering with Advent Health to bring doctors into the parks. And so if you run into a problem where you get sick on vacation or if you just have an emergency, like I know so many times down Main Street, I have like twisted my ankle or hurt it. Oh my it. gosh, on those stupid railroad <laughs> on tracks? The, yeah, on the trolley tracks. Like I step in, the, I used to step in them all the time and like... When you're wearing flip-flops and everything. Yeah, Ooh. and so now they're gonna have doctors there where like it's almost like an urgent care. We can go see them, they can check you out. And if you need any prescription medications, like you can get them filled. And then the last time I went, I went one day last year to Epcot Flower and Garden and my daughter had ended up with an ear infection. And there was, then like we were in Epcot when I'm like, she is crabby, I can't even lay her down. I can't change her diaper, she is just screaming. And then all of a sudden it like hit me. I'm like, she has an ear infection. And there was just nothing I could do. Yeah. 
And so now they're gonna have it where I can go see a doctor and they can check her out That's pretty cool. and they can write a prescription for the antibiotics she would have needed. And I am really, really excited about that. Like, yeah. especially going with children. I oh, am so yeah. excited. Oh, yes. All right. So <laughs> I am not ignoring her. I'm just really messing around with this big, giant knot. I got most of it out the other day. I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah, I'm like picking. So we're going to show you our new yarns that we are. So we have a shop update. That on... came out. It'll be today when this video releases. Oh, no, 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 no. It'll, it'll be Tuesday. Be on... It'll be on the 1st. Just kidding. This comes out fri on a Friday. Oh, <laughs> I don't yeah. know my days. <laughs> so you should have already seen our yarn, checked it out, but we're just going to remind you how beautiful so, it is. Ooh. So these are our new colors that are going to hit our shop on June 1st. If you want to learn more about them, we have a shop update from last week where we talk about the names, kind of what inspired them. It is summer, Blizzard Beach inspired. So and this is my daughter. She said it's sun and then... Pinky Pink, which is adorable. Those are not the names. <laughs> they're not, but they're so cute. Those are not the names. But I am thinking, so when I was dyeing this one up, this yellow, which is called Lemon Snow Cone from Monsters, Inc. So when the Abominable Snowman, he makes lemon snow cones. <laughs> um, something got on it though. So there is like, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's like little splotches in there that aren't supposed to be there. So we're not gonna sell that obviously, but I'm thinking about making all of my nieces and nephews on my side of the family, making them all matching socks, which I will probably do for my other side too, <laughs> eventually. But it's just, I, and so on my side, I have all nieces, and then it's just my son. <laughs> I have one nephew, almost two. I'm gonna have two nephews soon on the other side, so I have to try to figure out a color. I think this green. This green is really pretty. It is really pretty. I think this one, maybe. Maybe we'll come up with a new color that'll like even better. I don't know, you gotta stay tuned. <laughs> we already have our July summers plan or July colors planned, so I'm yes. excited about that. And and guess what guys? We got a pan. Well we're getting a pan. It should be in by the time this video releases. But so I'm so excited because every time I'm like, ooh, I really like this. Let's do this. She's always like, we can't do that. We stock dye. Like that's not gonna work. So we we kettle dye. Kettle we, dye, whatever. Yeah, stock we kettle pot. dye. So we use um pots and it's more of like a dip dye, which is really great for these for these like single colors. But when I mean you can, you can do like other colors, obviously we have. Yeah. Uh, but it's just much easier if you get a catering pan. Uh, you can do dye more skeins at once, and you can also make sure you, it's easier to separate the colors throughout the skein in a catering pan. Make sure you grab our Italian summer socks set before the end of June because it will be gone. We'll have new different. Color yes, we'll ways. have more. But get that beautiful color in. Um, perfect for any summer. Um, you know, if you're like me, you can just buy it now and hopefully by the next summer you'll have something finished. <laughs> Guys, yeah, we just wanna, you know, if you're not you're not great at it, you know, that's fine. That's where I'm at right now. So just keep practicing, keep working. Yes. You'll get there eventually. And obviously, I've only been knitting socks for a year and I'm still making mistakes. So, and I've been crocheting for about 10 years, like consistently. And my blanket is like, <laughs> it's not, straight lines so finished in like two days so but anyways we hope we can encourage you to just keep trying just keep going for it um people usually love handmade gifts anyways and so even if it's not perfectly straight or if it's not perfectly round <laughs> or anything like people are still gonna love it just the fact that you thought of them yeah and that you like took the time to make something for them yeah is great and even if you want to make it for yourself like i love being like i made this <laughs> i love it and i made it and it might not be perfect but i did it <laughs> and i'm always like this is too heavy i can't wear anything like this because i will die of heat exhaustion <laughs> um yeah so if you have any questions about what we're dying leave them in the comments below but also we want to know what your projects are let us know what you guys are working on um, and you if you haven't already 
This will probably be up on Instagram, but we do have a one of a kind that's related to Beauty and the Beast. This is my lovely Beauty and the Beast shirt that my husband picked out for me when we were at Epcot. It's a Beauty and Brains, so it's got a rose and then a book on the bottom, which is really hard to see right now. But um, yeah, it, it was you were trying to do that, but it wasn't your favorite. I think it's I, a great. Yeah, I just don't care for how it turned out. She thinks she's like, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. And I'm just like, like the blues and the browns and the yellow. Eh. But so we're gonna post it on Instagram and so it's probably already up there Yeah, so make sure you head over there and leave us a comment to let us know what you think and then if enough people like it It'll be headed to our Etsy shop as a one-of-a-kind skein. So there's just one So whoever gets it first gets it. She's not gonna be dying anymore. because She does not like it. I don't like it So we're gonna tweak it. Maybe something similar will come back yeah, but um, yeah, <laughs> that's all we have for you today. If you have any questions, um, you can either leave a comment down below or you can email us at magicallydyedyarns at gmail.com. I know, big surprise, guys. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we want to hear from you, so please yes. like, comment, subscribe to our channel to get all of our updates. But so make sure you again follow us on Instagram and Facebook and Ravelry. Yeah, join, join Ravelry because I still don't know what Ravelry really is. So I just started using it, so I'm still learning. So if you guys have any tips on Ravelry, again, leave them in the comments below so that way I can learn too. All right, bye. I'll see you next week. Happy bye. crafting.